says in 1 Peter 3.15, Be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. We ought to be ready to testify. We ought to be ready to tell others of the great things God hath done. Hey, you look happy today. Yeah, I slept well. You know, we are all guilty of this. You look like you're doing really well. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I, I got a good paycheck. You know, we always have some other thing that we're going to say without giving the glory to God. And that ought to be first. This is exactly what the servant here did. And we need to be found in the way of testimony and God will lead you there. I love this because he says the master Abraham's God led him in the right way to take this daughter, to take this woman. God led him in the right way, but up until as that testimony wrote up until that point as the testimony rolled out it seemed like he was just kind of going about his own way but the reality is is he was seeking God he was seeking what his master wanted he wanted to serve he wanted to be the best servant that he could be and being in that way being in the way of righteousness here God led him in the right way he literally guided his steps and that's what we need we need to be in the way of testimony and this is why i've started as a church to start to encourage people to testify and to give testimonies it's a powerful thing and it's an important thing and it's part of being led by god and if you want to be blessed of god and have him lead you you need to be prepared to tell everybody what he's done in the past if you want to move forward in things in the future you need to be in the way of servitude. You need to be in the way of preparedness, in the way of prayerfulness, watchfulness, wandering, worship, in the way of blessing, and also the way of testimony, being ready to tell everybody of all that God has done to bring you to this point where you were so abundantly blessed and led in the right way and standing in the right way and in the way of truth. And God has worked in your life. Be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you. How are you so happy with COVID destroying everything? How are you so happy in lockdown? How are you so happy when your kids can't play in the park? How are you so happy when you can't go into Walmart without a mask? How are you so happy? Why? Because God has led me to this point. Because I was in the way and he led me and he's done this in my life and that in my life. And I'm blessed in this way and that when you continue on in the way of testimony. Verse 49 continues and said, And now, if you will deal truly and kindly, kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing proceedeth from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. We've got nothing to say. And the whole purpose of our testimony is to bring people to the point where they got nothing to say. That the whole world, their mouths may be stopped. That's what our testimony is for. Mm -hmm. Our testimony is to be part of Scripture and part of our experience. And the whole world's mouth must be stopped by these things. Nothing to say. That the whole world would see and fear the Lord God. That was the whole ministry of Israel. That was the whole ministry and is the whole ministry of the church today is to testify of the Savior and in doing so, stop mouths. And in doing so, cause them to see and to fear and to proclaim the only thing possible is this thing proceeded from the Lord. Amen. This is of God. Nothing else could have made this come to pass. Being in the way of testimony the Lord will lead you. And you see, as we walk through these, you might want to write them down later. These are going to give us basically just a, a pathway of life. The way. We're finding the way. Not only is it Christ, but it's how this servant got the job done for his master. And this is what we need to learn. We need to learn how to be servants that get things done for the master. Being in the way the Lord led me. He's the one that aligns your steps. He's the one that guides you this way or that way. He's the one that times things perfectly so that all peoples involved arrive to that point in time at the exact time that God specified so that the exact will of God would be done. But you need to be in the way in order to get that done. You need to be following after. I believe these steps, these examples that Abraham's servant is showing us.